Hey to you. I want to welcome you to another episode of how I animate in Clip Studio Paint. Okay, today we're going over ways to sketch in Clip Studio Paint. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get straight into it. First and foremost, I got to let you guys know, I'm kind of running out of ideas, man, for these tutorials. So if you got any ideas, please comment below. Let me know what you need help with in Clip Studio Paint. Okay, first thing first, we're gonna start off with the pencil tool. We already have a test layer set up. And the first thing I wanna do is show you guys how to change your background layer. So if you double click on paper, you can come over here. Let me bring this up, maybe around this color. And you can just darken it up a little bit. And the reason you darken it up when you're doing a lot of sketching, it can burn your eyes out, you know, hurt your eyes and really stress it out. So now we come over here to our test um, layer, click on the pencil tool and select the real pencil. And I'm gonna just show you what it looks like. That's it. I'm gonna come down to the design, design pencil. Looks like the um, real pencil, but just a little bit darker than the dark pencil or darker pencil. This is my favorite pencil to use. And then the mechanical pencil which is pretty close to the darker pencil, but it has a little fade on the edges where the darker pencil is closer to what a pen is gonna look like in the end. So let's just show some examples of what these things look like inside. I mean, when you're doing like a sketch, so we're gonna come over to this folder and I'm gonna turn a bunch of these things off. So this first one is the real pencil. As you can see, it has that nice texture that, that you like if you're a big pencil user or um, almost like a charcoal user. Um, and then we're gonna come over to this one. This is a design pencil. A little less of the texture, a little bit darker, but still got that pencil feel. Then you got the darker pencil, which almost looks like the pen, which is my favorite because I kind of get a really good feeling of what it's gonna look like in the end. Then we come over to the mechanical pencil, which is, like I said, something like the darker pencil, but just has a little fade on the edges. And these are some of the examples um, that you have at your disposal when you using CSP. CSP is a program that is for artists that like to animate. So, if you're an artist, you're gonna love CSP, but if you like to animate a little bit too, you're gonna really love it. So my question to you guys is, which pencil do you like to use when you sketch or do you even use a pencil? Okay, comment below and let's move on to this next section. So the next section is another way that I sketch and that is using the pen. I just come over here, use the pen tool let me go back to the test layer, delete these real quick and make it bigger. And I just use the G pen. I'll come over here to tool properties and bring the opacity down and I'll just see one stroke. Now, this is what I'm saying. If you put the darker pencil right next to this, they're very similar. Look at that very similar. The darker pencil is easy, even looks a little bit brighter because we got the opacity down on a G pen, but it gives you a great example of what your drawing is gonna look like when you start cleaning it up. If you're using stuff like the, um, um, the G pen and stuff like that in the future, or, or even if you're just using vector layers and you're using a line tool. So the one thing I want to leave off with is, using the figure tool. Now, I know you're looking at these things and you're like, well, you know, those are pretty nice circles. Well, I didn't draw them. I use the figure tool. If you click the figure tool right here, shortcut is U, click on the ellipse. Let me create a new layer real quick and boom. Hold shift to get a perfect circle. Click it one more time and it's set. And this just cuts that whole trying to draw a full circle, a nice circle, a complete circle 
part of your sketching, you know, day out. Just cut it out. Just stop it. Okay, use the advantages that you have. If you're doing it on paper, that makes sense. But if you're doing it on a digital platform, I mean, digital software, just use the tools that you have. That's why they're there. Okay, that's all I have for this. Don't forget to smash that like button and that subscribe button and share this with any friend that may need tips like this on sketching and Clip Studio Paint. And as always, anime life forever. I'm